Hello everyone, welcome to the channel SRS. This is Sumit Roy and we'll study a VSDL in that we'll compare data flow programming with behavioral programming. As in the last lecture, we have done the data flow programming and there are some advantages in the data flow and there are some, the, some of the advantages in behavioral. So, we'll compare them as we already know that for data flow programming, we require the complete Boolean expression. Whereas for data, whereas for uh, behavioral, we do not require the entire Boolean expression. So we'll compare both of them. Uh, so I'll, I'll uh, start with an example of uh, multiplexer 4 is to 1, and I'll program it in a data flow as well as well as in behavioral. Uh, let's see. So in this half, I'll do the data flow programming, and in this half, I'll do the uh, behavioral part. So let me divide. So for the data flow programming, as I will draw the basic diagram uh, for 4 is to 1 mux, uh, we already know multiplexer, that is it is having 4 inputs, 2 selection and 1 is the output. That is i0, i1, i2 and i3 are possible inputs, s1 and s0 are the selection and let y be the output. So this is basic entity or uh, basic diagram for this uh, uh, data flow programming. Okay, we'll start. Uh, many other things also will come in this programming. So let me write the programming for it. Uh, as we are writing data flow programming, so we require the Boolean expression. So I'll write the Boolean expression that is y equal to s1 s0 bar bar i0 plus s1 s0 bar 1 i1 plus s1 s0 bar i2 plus s1 s0 i3 that represents 0 0 in case of 0 0 i0 will be there in case of 0 1 i1 will be there at the output in case of 1 0 i2 will be there at the output and in case of 1 1 i3 will be at the output so we are having the boolean expression and now we can write the data flow programming for that so let me begin Library IEEE use IEEE dot standard underscore logic underscore one one six four dot all. This is all with the uh, library function. Then entity entity declaration name it. That is let this be a multiplexer max four is to one. So I'll write max for one is then port port. We are having four inputs. So the new thing uh, that uh, has to be discussed here is I can write here i not i one i two and i three and then in standard underscore logic. This will work fine, but uh, it is working fine for four uh, uh, bits. That is, uh, it is four is to one multiplexer. So I have to write i zero to i three. But in the case for eight is to one, then I have to write i zero to i seven. In case of sixteen is to one, I have to write i zero to i fifteen. In case of sixty four is to one, I have to write i zero to i sixty three. Means it is not making any sense. So there has to be a logic. So the logic is instead of writing individual, I'll write i in standard underscore logic underscore vector zero two three. That is standard underscore logic underscore vector is actually extension of this uh, library function only standard underscore logic. That is standard underscore logic underscore vector. What it does is it will give you give it the name of i0, i1, i2, i3 as it is a vector, it is having a direction that is i0 is defined, then there is i1, then there is i2, then there is i3, but no gradation that is no MSB or LSB is defined with this syntax. Now, but s, there is again a logic here, s, I will write it as in standard underscore logic underscore vector 
वन डाउन टू जीरो दिस इज राइट लिटिल बिट बिगर दैट इज इट्स वन डाउन टू जीरो दिस इज द पार्ट दैट इज बाई राइटिंग दिस वॉट विल हैपन बाय राइटिंग दिस आई एम गिविंग ग्रेडिएशन ऑफ एस वन ओवर एस नॉट दैट इज दिस इज एम एस बी एंड दिस इज एल एस बी आई जस्ट एक्सप्लेन इट दैट इज इफ एस वन एंड एस जीरो इज बीन काउंटेड एंड वाई इज द आउटपुट देन इन केस ऑफ जीरो जीरो आई नॉट इज गिवेन एज आउटपुट इन केस ऑफ जीरो वन आई वन इज गिवेन एज आउटपुट इन केस ऑफ वन जीरो आई टू इज गिवेन एज आउटपुट एंड इन केस ऑफ वन वन आई थ्री इज गिवेन एज आउटपुट okay there is no gradation required there is no gradation required but in these two msb0 and lsb1 will give you i1 and msb1 and lsb0 will give you i2 so there is the significance of which bit is at msb and which bit is at lsb so that is why i also have to give the msb and lsb gradation so that is why i am writing s in standard underscore logic underscore vector 1 down to 0 that is s1 down to s0 that is s1 is at lsb msb and s0 is at lsb so this is the new uh, syntax that has been included and the rest last one is y that is out standard underscore logic and this is over with that is end your mux for one that is all um with entity declaration this is library over this is entity over now there is architecture that is architecture a underscore let me name i'll name it normally a underscore mux 41 of mux 41 is then begin as it is a data flow programming so boolean expression will come in uh, in the play that is uh, this whole boolean expression is known to us that is why we are doing the bool uh, data flow programming so just assign it y has been assigned as s1 and uh, we'll start with this so i'll write not of s1 i'll use bracket because vector if we use vector then we have to use bracket not of s1 and not of s0 and i0 whole bracket or not of s1 and s not and i1 or s1 and not of s not and i2 or s1 and s not and i3 this is all with the expression so this is it end with max a underscore max 41 this is the programming for max 4 is to 1 in data flow style now the same thing as we know the logic for this this is the logic for uh, max 4 is to 1 it will work fine and uh, it is a given in data flow now if i will write it in behavioral programming then i need not require this knowledge of boolean expression what i can do is i can write the program it is much more flexible that is i can write the program with in terms of this s1 and s0 that is what i require to know is s1 and s0 behavior that is if it is 0 0 i0 is given as output if it is 0 1 i1 is at present as output 1 0 i2 and 1 1 i3 
so i know that much only and with that much knowledge only we can write the programming so i'll start behavioral programming that is again library i triple e use i triple e dot standard underscore logic underscore one one six four dot all entity same entity no difference that is let the name be max four one behavioral b is then put the type of programming is changing but the basic diagram remains the same so for port it will be i in standard underscore logic underscore vector same 0 to 3 s in standard underscore logic underscore vector 1 down to 0 y out standard underscore logic as it is a single bit end with max 41b so this is library this is entity similarly this is library and this is entity over now the architecture so architecture A underscore max four one B of max four one B is begin now. We are not having the knowledge of this this um, Boolean expression. We rely on this knowledge of what the behavior is so based on this knowledge we can write the programming that is with s select means s is used as a selector now with s select i'll write the definition y i not when s is 0 0 comma I1 when S is 0 1 comma I2 when it is 1 0 and I3 when it should be 1 1 but I'll write another thing that is others. Why I'm writing it? Because it will be helpful uh, when I'll deal with 16 cross 1 and higher order uh, multiplexers then I'll explain what is the role of others but instead of one one you just write others because the only one one is left that is others in others only one one will be counted so that is the uh, sentence end with your a underscore max four one so there is the difference between this is all with architecture of uh, behavioral programming so this is data flow programming and this is behavioral programming so for data flow programming clearly we require the knowledge of boolean expression complete boolean expression whereas in behavioral programming even without the knowledge complete knowledge of the boolean expression we can write just on the basis of the outcome we can write the programming so this gives the flexibility that is required for any language to BHDL. So that is why behavioral programming has come into play. Now, but behavioral programming is also having its shortcomings. So I'll compare in the next program, I'll compare behavioral programming with structural programming. So in the next program, we'll see what is structural programming. Till then, goodbye and uh, consider subscribing, uh, like, comment, share, comment because then I'll be able to answer your doubts. If there are any doubts in this type of programming or any other programming, just leave a comment in the, in the comment section and I will follow it up with a doubt class. Till then, thank you. Goodbye.